and welcome to the Profora Battle Kitchen. In every family, there's a little bit of friendly competition, and today's episode is going to be just a little different. As you can see here, we have a couple of familiar faces. Mm -hmm. Russ and Tammy Howarth, owners of Proforma Think Inc. and reigning dessert queen. Those cinnamon rolls were legendary. So, tensions are high on this set right now because after Tammy and Russ make their butt cake, another challenger for the butt cake crown is coming later. All right, Tammy, we're gonna start with you here. Tell us a little bit about your better than nothing bunt cake. Okay, well, I'm sure everybody has heard of nothing bunt cakes. They're all across the US and their cakes are really mm. amazing. Well. This is called Better Than Nothing Bun Cake. It is a copycat of their chocolate chip cake. Mm. But I have to say, and I am saying hands down, it is by far the best cake I've ever had in my entire life. It's simply amazing. Oh, I can't wait. I love it. <laughs> it smells heavenly, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just like, oh. All right, Chef D, why don't you take us away so we can make it? Mm -hmm. So first we're gonna start with our eggs. We're gonna whisk those up. Pass that down, thank you. So while he's doing the eggs, uh, Russ, are you the one that cracks the eggs in your household? Oh, absolutely. I watch and I eat it. Fantastic. That's about as far as it goes. Sounds like someone I know. I was gonna say, it's my role. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add some sour cream to this, which is really a great way to keep the cake really nice and moist. You see that a very common thing. I can't remember a cake, even if someone gives me a recipe, I'm like, I'm putting sour cream in it. Nice. Full fat, of course, go all the way, right? We only go all the way here in the Performa family kitchen. Just like in the battle. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna add some milk to this as well. We're gonna make sure that that all comes together. Baking's really important that you incorporate everything. You know, we don't wanna eat this and have little chunks of sour cream in it. You know, it might not be the best, right? No. So how'd you come across this, Tammy? Like, do you make it for family events? I mean, you said it's the best cake ever, so when's this come out? only for special occasions because it is that good that I could literally, I could literally eat the entire cake, one slice at a time. I literally could. So, <laughs> so Ross, let's be honest, you're helping her. You're eating Absolutely. still. <laughs> Gonna add some melted butter. You always need butter or some sort of fat in the cake. And while that catches up, we have a box cakes mix. You like the Giardelli, correct? Yeah. Or Godiva. And pudding mix, that's another big thing that you see mm -hmm. that helps moisten a cake. In fact, a lot of box mixes will even say. A little salt is in this as well. And like I said before, you wanna make sure everything's incorporated well. So that's why we're mixing the pudding mix. We're gonna add this in two batches. It smells heavenly, it really does. So Russ, how often do you ask her to make this cake? Uh, at least once well. or twice a year. Okay. At least. At least. There we At go. At least. And a whole bag life. of chocolate chips. Semi-sweet. Mm-hmm. That looks good. So bunts, what I generally do is I put half on one side, a good amount, and then half on the other and then shake it around. Especially like a very thick batter like this. That's a lot of, that is from the flat, the butter starting to cool off and also cocoa. Now, bunts are pretty standard sizes. If you buy one, you wanna get one that's got a good powder coating on it, like this one, and it's heavy. The thin ones, they're not gonna bake as even as you think. I don't think I have a future in icing cakes right now. Or at the very least, I've, I've got a lot, lot of ways to go, but I'm having lots of fun. Wait, what do you want me to do with the extra? Well, if you go around the circle. Well, I just, I keep going, and I'll go in between each of the ridges, and then know. I'll just make it as... This oh, way, if you make yeah. a mistake at the bottom, you yeah. won't see it. Hey, that's a good idea. There you go. Right. Whoosh. Yes. You can never have too much icing. Right. Agreed. Right. I know. Yeah, I did agrees. do a double yes. batch of this recipe. I got a whole yeah. other bag in the back. <laughs> All right, this looks delicious. We will bring <laughs> you back at the end of the episode for our Battle of the Buns. Now for our challengers. Owner of Performa Third Degree Marketing, Steve Flowers, and his mom, Kathy. Hi. Hi. Guys. Welcome. They're here to make their famous Vindale rum cake. Welcome, Steve and Kathy. Yes. The competition has been fierce in the kitchen today. So tell us a little bit about your bun cake, Steve. 
Sure, Michael. The Vendale Rum Cake is a, is a good down home straight out of Appalachia, America from our family farm. It's got a little something for everybody. You know, it's got a little crunch. It's moist, the flavor, the smell. It's, it, it's a crowd pleaser. Ooh, I'm excited. Right. Well, Chef D, let's get started. I am ready. So first thing we're going to start, we got to make our cake, obviously. So in here we have a, a pack of yellow cake mix and we're going to add some vanilla pudding Woo. to it. Like we said before, great way to make the cake moist. We want that nice and even. Four eggs in this. Nice. And then we have some water. We're gonna, whoa, I almost cracked that. <laughs> Hold on. Chef D can't multitask now. He's been in the glaze. I've been in yeah. the glaze. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Wait, some what was that? Water. Ah. Now, it, don't look at the instructions on your cake box. It's, everything's all in here already. In fact, you'll be like, that's not enough liquid. Well, we got a whole bunch of rum over there we're going to add. Hey. She's going to get so we're not making a mix. Too simple. much of a mess. Mm. Probably should have used a little bit bigger of a bowl, but we'll make do. Yeah, we're having fun. Half a cup of rum. It's a battle. It's going to get messy. So when you measure the rum, do you take a drink for yourself, then pour a little in and take a drink for yourself? Yeah. Not everyone cooks like you, dear. Yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> we have oil. Always got to have oil on a cake. Now we also, we have some chopped pecans that are just like in the recipe. Thank you. And we have some candied ones that you guys, why don't you tell us where you, about the candied ones you brought today? Yeah, so we brought the candied uh, pecans from uh, Central Ohio, what a lot of people in, in Northeast Ohio consider Amish country. And uh, they, uh, they know what they're doing. They're delicious, they taste good, they have a, a sweetness to it as well. And, and, and it also makes for a great topper as well. So you can use them on the inside of the cake. Uh, but you can also, if you want to take your time and put it around the outside, it, it, it it's, uh, makes a nice finisher too. Fantastic. So now we're going to fill our button pan. Now this batter, let me get a little bit better angle for you guys. This batter is a little thinner, so we're just going to pour it in and it's going to come together. But you see the difference I was saying from the, from the bun, the chocolate bun, how much thinner this is just cause there's not the cocoa in it. So, okay, there's a name though. It's the Vindale Rum Cake, which I believe we had a Vindale risotto. So I'm seeing a pattern. What's going on with Vindale? So, you know, Vindale, we, we like to say it's a household brand, but it's, it's a story when, when uh, season one, when we did our Vindale mushroom risotto, we had to come up with a name and we wanted to call it something a little more fancy than uh, just risotto, mushroom <laughs> risotto. So Vindale comes from, again, back from my family farm and my father and I, we, we lived in a house trailer and, um, at the last second, uh, as they were rolling this thing away, uh, it had a name and it was a 1969 Vindale Extendo mobile home. Uh, and it had an emblem on the side, kind of like a car. So we, mom just kind of helped herself, and just rips it off. <laughs> and, and she's That's like, awesome. why don't we call it the Vindale mushroom risotto? I'm like, that sounds so elegant. Well, I thought you would like it, to have it as a remembrance. Oh, I remember. Aww. What a nice mom. And I've been trying to forget. Hey. <laughs> so now that we have this, we're going to bake it. Um, it's 325 on an oven. If you have a convection oven, I would do 300. I did that here, and it baked off really, really nice. And then when we're done, now with this, you want whenever you have a bundt cake or any cake, you want to leave it in the pan for just a few minutes before you flip it so it can come together and kind of calm down so it doesn't break apart. And then this one as well, we did that. And now, you know, why don't you guys have at it? Go start stabbing a bunch of holes in the top of it. There you go. <laughs> so you want to stab a bunch of holes in all this, and that's what the way the glaze is going to soak into it. And really straightforward with the glaze of melting down butter, adding sugar and a little water to it, and the rum. And you just want to cook that just until it, the sugar dissolves. You don't want to keep cooking it. Like we said before, all the alcohol will come off and everything like that. Mm. Now this is a double batch, but yeah. Because yeah. one thing I say I think that really makes a rum cake if it's got that juiciness a little bit mm. to it. I know everyone, they talk about like the Tortuga brand ones when they go to the Bahamas or something, and they're, and they're good. But they're not that not juicy. Like they're not that <laughs> juicy. Does everybody I, have a designated driver? <laughs> and I don't know if we can get like on the one. camera. <laughs> We're really trying to make sure it gets on all. You see, we still have some dry places left. We want to make sure that all gets covered. Fully soaked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a little bit on top. Pretty. And really nice and pretty, yeah. Neat. Can't go wrong. This is just the plain real deal. There you I go. Love it. All right, now that they're both ready, I think we should try them back to back and see who the champion should be.
Both months are back and ready to go. The suspense is killing me. Let us taste. So first, we're gonna start with that nothing, better than nothing bunt cake by Tammy and Russ. Let's get into it, guys. All right, guys, everyone and grab girl. a fork. You're very welcome. I'm gonna pull. Oh. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right, but it's so better than theirs, that's for sure. Very good. We're going to try the Vindale rum cake from Steve and Kathy. Woo! Here we go. Yummy. Go ahead. Right here in the middle. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm I don't know, gang, this is a really tough one. <laughs> it's like having to, they're both amazing, and I don't think it should be left up, up just to us. I think we got to leave it up to our performer family on this one for sure. Mm-hmm. Well, you heard Chef D, make sure you vote. We will crown the winner of this competition at convention in Orlando this July. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Woo. That's right. The Battle of the Bunts will be decided soon enough. Thanks to all of you for being here in the kitchen with us. And until next time, don't forget to... Chef, chef it up! up.